everyone, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. It's November 7th, yes! So, do you know what that means? That means it's time for monthly favorites. October favorites to be exact. And I see someone peeking around that is also one of my favorites for the month. So hold on. This is Ringo. Hello, Ringo. This is Ringo Kitten, Ringo the Rescue Kitten. Um, yeah, hi buddy. He's Ringo's about four months old and we adopted him from the shelter about three months ago and he's been a wonderful addition to our family. Um, he's a very curious kitten, so that's uh, been a lot of fun. He's gotten into a lot of trouble. <laughs> so um, that is definitely one of my favorites. And let me jump in and let's talk about some of the beauty and skincare and hair care favorites that were my uh, go-to products for the month of October. I've got my big old uh, basket here of goodies, so let's see what we have. The first favorite of mine that I see is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. This is a peel-off mask. Here's what it looks like. Now let me preface this. Um, I was taking a vitamin supplement during the month of October and it had an excess amount of vitamin B and what I didn't know that I now know after talking to my doctor is that vitamin B, an excessive amount of it, can make you break out. So. Um, during the month of October, and really still right now, um, I had the skin of a 16-year-old, and not the good kind of skin. The acne and breakouts, and oh my goodness, because of the excess amount of B12 I was taking, I broke out like a mofo. Oh my goodness, it was terrible, and it was kind of like the hormonal breakout, so it was on my chin, on my cheeks, and it was the big, dark, angry stuff, so um, yeah. It took me a few weeks to figure out that it was the excess amount of B12 I was taking and then of course it takes a while to get that B12 out of your system. So I had to treat my skin for these breakouts and one of the things that I used was the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. Now this isn't just for breakouts. Okay, what it's supposed to do is boost skin clarity and dig all that gunk out of your pores. So it's just a black mask. You put it on and then you peel it off after about 15 minutes. And um, it's kind of like the Biore <laughs> clear strip. Sometimes you can see like the gunk that it's taking out. I know that sounds disgusting, but even if you're not breaking out, if you have aging skin, it's a good way to kind of remove some of that the, those dead skin cells and give your complexion a nice clear boost and give you like that glowing skin. So I highly recommend this. I think it's under $20. You can pick it up at Sephora. I believe Ulta sells it. And um, so definitely check this out. It was a great skin booster for me during my uh, challenging times. All right, the next favorite of mine is a hair care favorite. Um, and it is the Hans de Fuco modify pomade or pomade however you want to say it potato patata you know basically it's a hair gel a hair wax here's what it looks like now i got a little sample of this in a birch box and it was a teeny little sample and i tried it and i was blown away for those of you girls or guys with short hair that want a really piecey look but don't want it to feel stiff and sticky this is for you it is um it smells good, it has a light, light, light smell. Not floral, but maybe kind of peachy? I don't know, here's what it looks like. And it is a very light kind of wax. And you can put it in your hair, put it exactly where you want, and your hair is still touchable. But you can move it around and sculpt the different looks that you want but it's, like I said, it's still touchable and it looks very natural. So I, I ordered this off the Birchbox website. That's the cheapest place I found it. So I think it was around $20, but I mean, you can look at this. For my hair, this is gonna last well over a year. So I'm thrilled with Next that. Next favorite of mine is a new addition to my makeup collection. It is the Too Faced Natural Matte Matte Neutral Eyeshadow Collection. Here's what the tin looks like. I believe this just came out in the latter half of the year and I just have to tell you, it's stunning. Look at these colors. So they're absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing them today. Um, if you have older skin, especially on your eyelids and it tends to get crepey, you definitely want to stick primarily with matte eyeshadows. That should be about 75 to 80% of your look. Now I do use a few shimmer shadows for accents and I'll dab them right in the center of my eyelids, but 
Primarily, I am using matte, and these are beautiful. I cannot tell you. I, I love this. This is definitely my favorite palette in my collection. I like this more than the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I, I just absolutely adore. And you can do so many looks with this. There are some cool tone shadows up here, and then you've got the warmer ones down at the bottom, and it's just perfect. So I think if you travel or anything, you could just take this and maybe a light champagne shimmer, and you're good to go. You've got all your looks covered, but I have been loving this. Okay, the next favorite of mine for the month of October is a drugstore favorite, and it is an eyebrow pencil. This is the Maybelline Brow Satin Eyebrow Pencil, and it is actually a dual-sided pencil. Let me show you here. It's got the T90 little waxy pencil, which is great for brushing in, getting a real natural looking kind of brushing in and outlining the brow that you want. And then it's got this side, which has an eyebrow powder in it. Okay, now I got the shade Blonde. There's the powder right there. Let me show you the pencil. Okay, the pencil is right underneath it there. See that thin line? That's the pencil. Now my um, brows are basically non-existent. They're white blonde, the same color as my hair. If I don't want to look like a total mutant freak, then I need to color in my brows. This has been perfect. It's under $10, it lasts all day, and it's a great color for me. So I really love it. I know they have a medium and a darker one as well. Um, so definitely check those out. I picked mine up at Target. Next favorite, I know I've talked about before, but it's been a lifesaver in really September and October, and it's the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. This is what it looks like. And it is basically pure pigment. It comes with a little in a little eyedropper like this. And you take the dropper and you mix the drops into whatever you want. Basically, you can mix it into a moisturizer and have like a custom foundation. You can mix it into your primer. You can mix it into your serum. You can even mix it into another foundation, which is what I've done. This is a darker, um, color. It, I actually purchased this in the summer. So it's a darker color for me. I couldn't use this. Um, here's, here's where it is right there. I couldn't use this really on my own. It's a little too dark right there, but it's perfect in September and October when my tan is fading and I'm bringing out those lighter winter color foundations that are a little bit more ivory. I can mix a drop or two of this in to blend that and get the perfect transition tone. By the time December and January roll around, I'm ivory baby. But until then, as my tan continues to fade, I can just add a drop or two of this and really customize the color of my foundation. So I've been loving this. I have right here the N25. They literally have every color of the rainbow that you could possibly want in this. Now what I recommend doing, because there are so many different colors, is go to Sephora and ask them for a few samples. Pick your top three colors that you think might match you and get small samples so that you can try it because, because you, don't you don't want to invest in a full size of this unless you know it's going to be the color you need. So definitely try it. Sephora is great about giving samples out like that. Um, so definitely check that okay. out. Here is a skin savior for me. This is the Nude Advanced Renewal Overnight Repair Mask. This has been a total lifesaver. And don't ask me why I've kept it in the box. I don't know because I've had this for several months. <laughs> um, who knows? But anyways, because I've been treating my skin on all those breakouts, it has been getting very, very dry and flaky and just nasty. This stuff is nasty. So this has been my lifesaver. It is an overnight repair mask and it's a very, very thick, thick moisturizing cream. I don't really sense a smell in it. Here's what it looks like though. It's a very thick cream. You can see there, it's not going anywhere. Um, but it's been wonderful. I use this about twice a week and I just slather this stuff on my face at night, go to sleep and then wash it off in the morning and it really does help boost my skin. On um, weeks that I don't have all those breakouts, I use it about once a week just to improve the overall appearance of my skin, make it look firmer, plumper, more moisturized. 
but I've been using it twice a week during the month of October just because I see my skin really needs that extra boost of moisture. So this is amazing. I purchased mine at Sephora. I've been very impressed with the nude skincare line. Um, everything I've tried from them so far has been good. However, this is definitely my favorite. The last two products that have been a favorite of mine for the month of October is a lip combination. As you may know, I'm not very adventurous when it comes to lip color. Um, I've got a lot going on with the, with the hair and stuff, so I find if I get too funky with the lips, it's just a little too much. Mm -hmm. It's just a little much. So, Mama likes to keep it simple. I usually go for nudes, but of course, as the fall rolls around in winter, I like to get at least a little teeny bit bolder. So, this is the lip combination I've been wearing. It is a drugstore combo. It's what I have on right now. <laughs> It's basically a nude lip, but it's a little more brown um, than my usual lip. And I have number 705 Blushing Bud, and this is a lipstick from Maybelline. Beautiful, beautiful color, as you can see there. Um, there it is, swatched. And then on top of that, I am wearing the Maybelline, goodness, let's see. Maybelline the Elixir. This is their liquid lipstick and 65 caramel infused and um, it has a little doe foot applicator like that and no scent and then I'm going to put it right next to it's the one on the bottom there. I find that it's a great lip combination for me in the fall and it's very moisturizing. Both of these are very moisturizing formulas so it doesn't dry out my lips. So there you so go. So those have been my favorites for the month of October. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found some products that intrigued or interested you that maybe you want to try out yourself. Stay tuned for more fun videos. I have a battle of the Korean beauty boxes coming up. I also am going to be announcing the winner of my Adorn jewelry uh, giveaway. That will be coming up in my next video and I'm going to be doing some holiday recipes, some holiday decorating, some holiday craft ideas. Um, and just a bunch of other fun things. I'm also going to start an anti-aging series and um, let me know if you have any ideas on that. I figured I might go over my nighttime skincare routine and maybe even my morning skincare routine. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks so much everyone. Bye-bye.